Gabby Gifford's mere presence tends to bring people to their feet. The resilience she embodies always on full display. Her indomitable optimism bringing smiles to this sold out crowd. Happy birthday. Here to watch her life story on the big screen. No way, Jose. Woo. I don't back down. That's right, like Tom Petty's 1989 anthem. Tonight is her night to sing. and celebrate at a special screening in D.C. of the aptly titled new documentary, Gabby Giffords Won't Back Down. My own recovery has taken years. Many, many people have helped me along the way, and I learned so much. I learned when people care for each other and work together, progress is possible. A better world is possible. The event taking place on the same day President Biden celebrated the passage of a bipartisan gun law. There's no way that we would be celebrating the passage of the most significant piece of gun violence legislation in 30 years without what Gabby has done over the last 10 years. Friends and former colleagues from Congress there to support Giffords. This is a culmination of her triumph. It's pretty exhilarating to have all of these Washingtonians turn out for Gabby Giffords. You know, it felt like a lot of love in this room. <laughs> Betsy West and Julie Cohen are the dynamic directing duo behind the documentary. All right, ready? Chronicling Gifford's remarkable recovery after being shot in the head, and yet her unrelenting fight against gun violence, showing she won't back down. Grateful to survive. I'm alive. This film comes as the nation grapples with the epidemic of guns, from Buffalo to Uvalde to Highland Park. The latest mass shooting to capture the nation's attention, a mall in Indiana just last night. In what way might your film be a call to action? I think people could be motivated by the film in all kinds of ways, certainly for those who are pushing for further reforms um, in our gun laws. Also, though, the Gabby Gifford story is motivating in like just this deeply, deeply personal way. Along with her husband, now Senator Mark Kelly, really is a comeback story. Hello, my fellow Arizonans! <laughs> Gabby approaches her life with so much optimism and with so much humor. She was an Arizona congresswoman, a rising young star in the Democratic Party. The First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. Congresswoman Giffords was still alive after being shot in the head. But everything changed on the morning of January 8th, 2011. The 40-year-old Congresswoman holding a meet and greet event. Shot while holding an event outside a supermarket in Tucson. A lone gunman with a history of mental illness opens fire, killing six people and injuring 13, including Giffords. Some of this stuff is going to seem kind of silly, Gabby. Gifford's husband sharing rarely seen intimate video diaries of the harrowing early days of her recovery. Is that hard, Gabby? Is that hard for you to do? Look at there. First of all, he was confident she was going to come back. Amazing. And he was like, and when she does, she's actually going to want to see what this journey was like. One of the milestones in that journey, a hospital visit from then President Obama and the First Lady. When we heard that Gabby had been shot, we were heartbroken and scared. I already knew Gabby well, knew Mark. It's really and unlike any footage you are used to seeing of, of public officials. It's such a deeply human moment. A few minutes after we left her room and some of her colleagues from Congress were in the room, Gabby opened her eyes for the first time. <laughs> Gabby opened her eyes for the first time. It was just the beginning of Gabby's slow comeback. A comeback made with dogged determination. Baseball hack. Is it a hack? Yes. Or a hat? Like, yes. Okay. Let's try it again. Gifford suffers from aphasia, which impacts her ability to speak. Gabby, are you frustrated? Can I tell you something? It is going to get better. Okay? 
It's frustrating right now, but it is going to get better. For many people with aphasia, Gabby included, music is really kind of a pathway back to language. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Speaking is a struggle for Gabby Giverts. Uh, and she works very hard at it. I mean, she's a gritty person. <laughs> a former member of Congress. Gifford showed that grit two years into her recovery, giving an impassioned speech to Congress after the Sandy Hook shooting that left 20 children dead. Violence is a big problem. Too many children are dying. Too many children. We must do something. After Newtown, she launched Giffords, a nonprofit group pushing to raise the gun buying age to 21, passing red flag laws and universal background checks. She is someone who has connections uh, with Republicans, has reached across the aisle, and she realized, hey, I'm, I'm a gun owner. I'm not against guns. I'm just against gun violence. Giffords has continued to use her voice in a way only she can. Speaking out as the nation mourns those lost. Stopping gun violence takes courage. In mass shooting after mass shooting. Fight, fight, fight. By her side through it all, the astronaut, Mark Kelly. She laughs at my jokes, even when they're bad. She funny. Thinks these, these things funny, things. funny, funny, funny. The story of Gabby Giffords and Mark Kelly is definitely a feminist rom-com. Mark Kelly stepped up to be Gabby's caregiver, and he eventually quit his job as, as an astronaut and, and in the, as a Navy captain and dedicated himself to helping Gabby come back. My partner, my rock, Mark Kelly. And then the tables turn again, and there's Mark deciding that he's going to go into politics, and Gabby is encouraging him. All right, Gabby, what are we doing here today? Speeches. I'm practicing. Maiden speeches. Giffords using her political prowess to prep her partner as he began his political career. It's a long to-do list, but I'm used to those. Oh, um, the open posture. Hand. Straight ahead. Offering advice in a way only a wife can. Those. Slow down. Gabby is one of the most courageous people I have ever known. Gifford's extraordinary public service recently being recognized with the nation's highest civilian honor. Because of her, lives will be saved and America will be safer. A Presidential Medal of Freedom. Change doesn't happen overnight, and we can't do it alone. Join me. Let's move ahead together. Thank you very much. Our thanks to Juju. Gabby Giffords, Won't Back Down, is in theaters now. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.